and I cut off part of the ice cube tray, so it's five and five, which makes a ten frame. What number did you make here, Rayleigh? Three. Three. Okay, I'm going to ask you an easy question and a hard question. You ready? Okay. Three plus what gives me five? Two. Two. You could see that right away. Here's your harder question. Three plus what gives me ten? Seven. Seven. How did you know that so fast? Uh, I, know. I could see. You could see. What could you see? Oh, uh, two here, five here. Exactly. And two and five is what? Seven. Seven. That was awesome. Good. Oh, wait. What number do you have right there? What, did, what number is this? It's nine. Ask me a question about this one. Let's do a math equation. Minus. Mm -hmm. What is nine minus? No, yeah. Nine minus. Something I could see here. Four. Let's see. Nine minus four. I can see. Ooh, if I take these four away, I just have five left, don't I? Good question. You're a good teacher. That's awesome. Good job. So, we also have these. What are these? Ten frames. Ten frames. More ten frames. And so you can just put the dots on the paper like this. What number is that? Eight. Eight? How did you know that was eight so fast? I can see the here and five here. Good. Good, good, good. Do you know what number this would be if I have ten. one? That's ten. That's exactly right. What if I have one group of ten and one group of eight? What is this all together? Do you know what ten plus eight is? Eighteen. It's eighteen. That's exactly right. So eighteen is made up of one group of ten and eight. What if I had... Five. Yes? Twenty-five. Wait. No. What number is that? One group of ten and five more. Ten plus five is... Twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's fifteen. How... Oh, here's a... You ready for this question? Mm. How many groups of five Three. are... In? She's so fast. She got that one right away. Okay. 10 plus 3 is what? 13. 13, exactly. How many more would I need to get to 15? 2. 2, so 13 plus 2 is 15. You can make these 10 frames in any size, and this is a little mini 10 frame set, and Rayleigh was going to make her own 10 frames. She'll find the one that you made already. Is it in there? Yeah, it is. Somewhere in there. What number did you make? I don't remember. There it is. Oh, yeah. What number did you four. make? Four. Four. Show that to the camera. She made the number four. And show them how you stick the dots on there and you put them really nice and neat in there. Let's make the number one. Because we need to have, oh, wait. You can keep this one. This will be the number four. Let's make the number one. Perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you could hold it anyway, couldn't you? You could hold it this way or this way. And let's do the number two. Here's some more dots. Put it back mm -hmm. Perfect. See how she did it like this and not across like that? There's a number two. Let's do the number three. Can we put those in order? What one are we missing? Three. three. Let's do the number three. So you really want them to get to thinking in terms of counting to five and counting to ten and seeing those numbers in their head. Um, oh, beautiful. That's three. And you can actually visualize three plus what equals five. And this gives them something to see rather than count. When they're counting on their fingers, they're telling you, I need something to see, feel, touch, because I, I can't visualize those numbers in my head. Oh, I like how you lined those up. 
Very nice. And what would come next? Mm, six. Six next? Mm, I would five. Are you five? Exactly. Exactly. So I'm going to give you these, and you get to take them home and make your own set. Okay? Yay. Yay. <laughs> so let's put those in the bag. We didn't do six. I know. Well, you can finish that at home, okay? Okay. I can take all of these home. Yeah, that's yours to keep. Yeah. Yeah, this one. So we want to start out by giving kids something that they can manipulate, something they can touch, so that they get a picture in their head. And when you ask them later on, what you know, what is seven plus two? They can picture that in their head. They've had an experience with seven. They know what seven is. They don't have to count it on their fingers. By the way, when children are counting on their fingers, they're telling, they're screaming to you, I need something to, to touch, to manipulate, to see. I don't really have a concept of seven yet. And, and so you need to give them something.